Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your Mac faster. But if your Mac is really laggy at the moment, then it will probably be better for you to uh, grab your install disk and do a clean install. Um, it will delete all your files, but it will be much, much faster and probably be about the speed um, the day you first got it. So if you want to do that, back up your files and then go with it. So now onto the tutorial, you're going to want to download the four applications in the description to the right. They are Monolingual, Xlimit, Onyx, and App Cleaner. The first one I want to do is Xslimmer. What Xslimmer does is it slims down the application. So if you're on Intel, then it trims away the uh, PowerPC. And if you're on PowerPC, then it trims away the Intel. Um, so here, if you don't have the license for it, if you haven't bought a license, then just click Demo, and I'll show you a neat way of getting around it. So then click Genie. And um, by the way, the, the trick that I'm going to show you in a second isn't illegal, and uh, so it isn't pirating the application. So I'm just going to go with these few applications. You can let Genie buffer the whole of your applications if you want, but I'm just going to go with these few. So as you might have read before, it said I'm limited to 50 megabytes. So I'm going to then click Slim, and then click Continue, and then let it slim the applications until it reaches um, 50 megabytes which is slimmed. So see here it's slimming it down 20 megabytes uh, here it's slimming it down 100 so after this application I won't be able to slim anymore so I'll show you a trick around getting around that um, limit. Okay so now Adobe Photoshop is done um, and as you can see I've reached the limit so then I'm going to click quit then open up App Cleaner drag it here and then open drag Xlimit into um, App Cleaner and then click delete but before you do that click copy on Xlimit so right click copy or command C and then click delete so now the application is gone now paste it Okay, that didn't work. Um, go back to your downloads and find Xlimal. So here it is. And then click agree. And then drag it back to your applications folder. And then open it back up again. So then here, open it back up, click no. And then use demo. And now you have 50 megabytes again. You can use Genie again. Um, and then slim it again. You can keep repeating this process until you've done all your applications. Um, this does take quite a while. This probably takes about an hour um, to do all your applications. Depends on how many applications you have. But it is a great application. If you want to make it much faster, then just buy it. It only costs, I think, I'm not really sure how much it costs. I think it costs $10. It's not really that much. So go check that out. The second application is Monolingual. Um, this strips the application, or basically the whole Mac OS X, of these languages. So you just tick them off, and then it strips them of those languages, and then click remove. I can't show you this because I was recording a video before this, but my um, my video stopped recording because I hit something like an hour, so I can't show you that. But it normally takes about half an hour probably to do the strip the languages. So once you've done that, exit out of Monolingual. Then you want to open up Onyx and install Onyx. I've already done that. And then open it up. That's the package to install the actual application. It will prompt you at the beginning if you want to install the startup volume thing. Um, this is what I clicked before. I clicked continue and it rebooted my Mac, hence I lost the video. So I'm going to click no for now and type in my password. So now, once you're on to the application, scroll down to cleaning, and then go to tick all the things you want to get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of, actually, hang on. Yep, go under cleaning, and I'm going to get rid of the caches here, the user cache, that's fine. Um, yep, that's fine as well. And fonts, 
yep, the cache fonts. These are all the caches, so don't worry, it's not actually going to delete the actual thing, it's just like the file to remember it, if you know what I mean. Um, but don't worry, you shouldn't lose anything and it should speed it up. So then click execute. Um, now I have the beta for 10.6 Snow Leopard, so I'm really hoping this doesn't crash. If you do have Snow Leopard, then I don't know, you may want to just do one by one. But if you have 10.5, then it should work perfectly. So I'm going to go with execute and I'm going to pray that it doesn't uh, freeze my Mac. Okay, oh, okay, I'm not going to do this, but just click continue. Um, I can't do this now because it will cancel ScreenFlow and I won't be able to record. So, but anyway, click that, that will make it faster. That won't mess it around at all, so guys, don't worry. Um, I will also test it to make sure um, right after this video. So there you go, guys. Hope this helps, and comment, rate, subscribe. See ya.